This is Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by the Savage himself, although looking very smart today, not at all like a Savage. Alan Babich, how are you? Yeah, thank you. It is the Savage, but Savage doesn't own anything, so Alan put his clothes on him, you know, so he doesn't do with money and stuff and possessions, so I'm feeling really good. Very good, I'm all in the Savage mode, you know. The Savage takeover is complete and I want to hurt somebody pretty bad. Yeah. This is your DAZN UK debut. How much are you looking forward to impressing a new audience? Well, actually, I boxed Chambers on the DAZN, I think. Oh, on the first one? No. Uh, ah, OK. Was that the first DAZN show in the UK? Maybe it was. Oh, OK. I'll, ta I'll take it all back. But how are you much are you looking forward to impressing them again? <laughs> yeah, it's my second time and I love working in DAZN. I, I love the, the other ones too, so I just love everything I do. I just box. You know? I, don't, I don't look at those things by the side. You know? On the ring is what interests me. You know? I can all, do all of this goofiness and stuff and stuff to, to make you all look at you know, to entertain you. But when the when day comes to an end, it's all about boxing for me. And on that subject, you've got obviously Mark Bennett this weekend. What do you make of him? I'm sure you've done your research. What's he like as a fighter? Well, I didn't do my research. <laughs> I really didn't. I didn't even look at him. Man. I think he's a boring fighter. They showed me a few clips on YouTube. He was in a low-level fight, you know, nothing like this. You know. So I'm, I'm way above him. I'm levels above him. And you're going to see that in the first, let's say, four seconds. You're going to see that he's levels. Given how good you are and how ambitious you are, surely you want a big step up after this one if it all goes well. Well, I want a step up two years ago, you know, so I want to step up every day. But this is kind of fight, they just feed me these guys and I love it. People love it. People want to see me knock guys out. I love knocking guys out. I, love, I like to do damage. So it's all going out good, you know, but I'm sure the step up will be right around the corner. Who do you want? If you were the matchmaker as well as the Savage, who would you pick as your next opponent? Uh, everybody knows I like Devo, Dave Allen. You know, I like him a lot. I would like to fight him. I would like to fight. I used to like to fight Lucas Brown, but now he's done. Uh, I'd like to fight, I don't know, Kashali maybe for European title. So whoever, I really don't care. But there is a lot of good names around there. Uh, of course, I want to fight the bigger guys, high rank guys, but I'm not there in the rankings. So I'm not going to call them out because I'm like, you know, top top 30, top 40. I'm not top 10 yet. And I want to fight, fight that Kant Hrgovic whenever. So, you know, I want to fight a lot of guys. If you're only in the IBF top 15, you could have the Hrgovic fight. It seems like a lot of people don't want to fight him in the top 15. Yeah, I don't know why. They say he's the boogeyman. I say he's the shittiest boogeyman I ever saw. I don't know why. It just baffles my mind. I'll fight for free. I can fight for free. I'm going to give Eddie Hearn a chance, and, uh, uh, how do you say, a deal, he can't, talk, can't uh, deny it. Good stuff. Now there's another big heavyweight fight, well there's another two because Johnny Fisher's on as well, but there's another big heavyweight fight on the show between Fabio Wardley, your um, managerial stable mate of course, and Nick Webb. What do you make of that fight? And, and if things went wrong for Wardley, I'm sure you're going to back your, your man, but if they did go wrong, would you then consider fighting Nick Webb? Of course, listen, it's a big fight for the UK, you know, to, to the biggest prospects, in my opinion, you know, and uh, they are both great fighters, you know, Fabi Worley is different. That is why I give Fabi Worley the edge, because he's different. He didn't have no amateur career, he wasn't a boxer, he just jumped into this. And he's 11-0 with 10 knockouts, you don't do that, you know, you don't do that in boxing. And uh, Nick Webb is a, a bit of a more experienced, let's say, boxer, you know, but whatever happens, I'm going to be always on my side of my bulls, Fabio Worley, Dillian White, you know, Yusuf, Kosmari and stuff. So I'm always going to be with them. But I can't see nothing. I mean, I can, you know, it's, it's a very good fight. It's a very good fight. And Fabio Worley has big cojones to take in that fight because he's still young in the game, very young in the game. You saw those youngness against Molina fight. You know, he was caught a couple of times. So this is a dangerous fight for Worley, although I think he will win. And you mentioned Dillian White there, obviously something of a mentor to you and a close friend. How is he getting on? The, the likelihood is his next fight will be out in the US. Yeah, well, we talk on Instagram and stuff because he's far away from me, but I can't wait to meet him again. You know, he's my brother for life. I and mean, whatever happen, happens, I'm always going to be there for him. Always, always. No, I don't fucking care what happens, you know. I don't care if we kill someone. <laughs> that, that's from the Let's movie. hope he doesn't. But... No, no, that's from the movie, you know. So I, I really love I really love the man. You know, he gave me everything. He gave me the persona. He gave me the chance on the big stage. He gave me the name. He gave me the boxing. I can be nothing but grateful my whole life. 
And just before I let you go, tell the fans out there what they can expect from the Savage on Saturday night. Well, it's simple, you know, they can expect total annihilation, carnage, carnage. I'm going for the 100 punches in round one. So I, I said it and I now got to do it because I always talk the talk and I always walk the walk, you know, so he has nothing. He has, he's a pillow puncher, you know, he, he didn't knock out nobody. I had to knock out, I have seven terrible knockouts, you know, so I just don't see the way he's going to bother me anyway. And it's going to be a total massacre. I want to I wanna really hurt this guy. I don't even know him. I saw him first time in my life. I saw him today. I don't know him, but I, really, I want to massacre him. You know? Brilliant. Alan, really appreciate your time and look forward to watching you on Saturday.